Very strong one on one, Jones. And he sits it up in hope. Mackay got there, nearly plucked it. Butts stolen by Gibbons. Loops it inside. Set a field outside of the boot. They get one. And they're on the march back. Finished by centre field, repeat entry allowed that to, to unfold. They had to fight and scrap for this, they've worked hard. The Blues throughout uh, the last couple of minutes in terms of contest. At least it looked like Adelaide were going to get away once again. The numbers around the ball, but Gibbons was the one who had to fight amongst three or four. He did it well, he put enough pressure on, and a smart release handball. Well, that's the good news for the Adelaide Crows, uh, the Carlton Football Club kicking their first goal. The bad news is Sam Doherty has been ruled out for the day with that right calf injury. Thank you, Lynchy. Around the body by O'Brien. Bounce past a couple. Inside handoff, McGovern to Gibbons. Gets the Shepherd, pumps it long. Mackay this time, and he takes off. They're not going to take this one off him. And he gives them life. The and gives the goal umpire a little scared. <laughs> but, but finally we see a little bit of ball movement through the middle of the ground. Take it on Gibbon. Could have gone short and wide, but thought, no, I've got the big fella all on his own inside 50. Been a one-on-one. -on -one. And he's playing against the second game. But you've got to give this bloke every opportunity you can. Really good kick. He had a guy out wide there, Gibbons, he could have gone to. Said, no, I'm going to go to my big fella and didn't let him down. Just about took the goal umpire out with him. And to his credit, he went back to apologise as well to, to the goal up. He didn't need it. Such yes. a great contested mark one-on-one, -on -one, this fella. He's going to be an absolute brute as the years go by. Nice little flush hit there. And that's all you want, isn't it, Moons? Just get a one-on-one -on -one opportunity deep in the forward 50. And he was pretty keen to play on there. He missed one from the same position against the Sydney. Dispossessed. Back there for Cripps. Spins out of traffic. Through one. Past another. Shows his class. Gets it back from Betts. Weaves his way through the traffic. He mesmerised them. Goes to a goal. What a piece of play that was. These are not the drawers you're looking for. He mesmerised them all. <laughs> Shake and bake about three times. Oh, yeah, he he did he go to the ball go around his back at that <laughs> point as well, Moons? Oh, look, he fumbled one earlier just here. Got tackled here, got a little handball away, and then fumbles one, John. And you think, you know what? Paddy's not on today. Here's the fumble. Oh. But then he gets the ball back here and watch this around the back as he runs through the post, <laughs> runs through the contest, spins out, gets the handball back from Eddie, and then here it is. Great call, Dwayne. What a finish. It was all part of the plan, the fumble. Oh, what a finish. Just um, missed an absolute sitter from dead in front. Well, I thought I witnessed goal of the year last night with Daniels. <laughs> Has it just been Trump with this individual effort from Paddy Cripps? He's always got a nice celebration with yeah, his goal. Yeah, it is. Well, he missed the sitter. And he owed him one. And what a way to pay it back. What did we say at three-quarter time? 20 odd points. Yep. All you need to be. Get back in the 20s and sits it. Hands it out for Fisher on a half back flank. Keys corrals him, let him have a bounce and hit a target. Walsh, Gibbs went to ground. Walsh ducks out a one tackle, hands it back to Fisher. Drop the share and gets it back again. Back to Gibbons. And now the money kick finds Mackay. Quick ball movement, dangerous. Allow your forwards to have space and let your big marking forward come at the ball. What a huge goal this is going to be if he kicks it. This gives them a genuine shot. Takes a deep breath. Now the walk in. Opens up the angle. Dead eye Mackay. And it's game on. Well, 
it is. It's game on. It sure is now. We're back to 27 points in this contest. The Blues want to fight back in this quarter. The game on their terms, the run that they're providing for each other, the overlap run finally in their favour. Better ball use at times. Just hope they're not spend, they're spending all their tickets now in this in this fight back. Three quarter time, they've just got to hold on now, can't allow the Crows to get this next centre bounce win. And you'd be just sending a memo up the ground if you're Harry. Just give me the ball, please. Just move it quickly. Give me time, give me some space. I don't think there's a defender out there that can go with him at the moment. Good. Harding and cuts it off. McPherson bumped by Eddie. Eddie goes back to Walsh. Hands it back to Levi. Inside towards McGovern. Bends it around top of the square. McKay! Eddie Betts, how good was that? He's opened it up and played on and has bent it enough. They get the opener of the last quarter. Times now we've seen Eddie Beth put that pressure on from behind the speed to create the turnover here. They were out again, the Adelaide Crows. They were gone here, but there's Eddie. Great pressure sets up this goal for the Blues. And that's the difference. McCadden with the miss at one end. Blues get a let off there and they go down and kick one. Great kick, great goal. Wasn't a great kick by Gibbons going forward, but his second half in particular, that third quarter, he had eight possessions. He's become a bit of a live wire for him, getting that ball through the middle of the ground. And as we said, just let this bloke go to work. Died. Chance for O'Brien. Gives it back again. Gibbons. Simpson. Can he go for home? Centering kick. Where's Mackay? He left it for McGovern. And you mentioned it earlier, Moons. They were quite often leading to the one spot and all going for it. This time, he knew it was McGovern's ball to get. Well, it was a beautiful kick because he saw the mismatch. McGovern on show. Just put it to the air and let him go to work on this one and had a very quiet day. Put this through all of a sudden. We are back on. The former Crow drills it. And it's game on again. Smart kick and transition from Simpson. He set this up out of the back half. Simpson was involved a couple of times, ends up with it at the end of this play as well with the kick inside. 50, breaking 50, he had every right on his left leg to have a crack. He knows probably with fatigue he wasn't going to make the distance. Smart kick in the end, put it to the advantage. Allowed his forwards to govern this time to have the opportunity one on one. One of the shining lights in this performance. Murphy steals it back again. Gave it to Fisher and floats it to O'Brien. And he knows time is of the essence. Back into the lineup. First game of this season for Lockie O'Brien. Their pick 10, part of the Bryce Gibbs trade to Adelaide. Takes enough time to settle to make sure he kicks it. And he has kicked it. And the Blues fans still believe. I'm not sure Carlton in the position to go, go for goal for goal though, Jono. They just desperately need to stop Adelaide kicking this goal. They, every time they get one, Adelaide seem to answer, but again, got them game ball moving forward and nice little kick there. Fisher just saw him out of the corner of his eye. Nice little one-hander, a nice finish as well. Yeah, it was good. He didn't take too much time off the clock either. He, he had to go back and settle. The most important thing, as Dwayne said, he had to kick the goal, keep the Blues a chance. Big clearance here, Dwayne. Yep, it has to be pure. This just has to be pure from the Blues. Scholl got both hands on it, knocked it down to Cunningham. De Koning bumped on the kick, top of the square. Still a chance for the guy. Open goal, slams it through. 
So they need three goals in two minutes. Where you caught it, they got it through the midfield. They almost went through, but Setterfield had a couple of fumbles. And along down the line here, nice little contest there from Gibbons, but Cunningham's hit the ball a couple of times really hard this quarter. And again, we've said all day, give this bloke a chance. He's not going to let you down too many times. It's a really good long, deep kick. And we continually see when Carlton move the ball and actually carry the lines, they can get the ball inside forward 50 to those one-on-one -on -one situations. They look a much better side than what we saw in that first quarter. Very impressive finish to the game, but just touch and go whether it's too late.